Hello wonderful people, I am Vishwa and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this Playground AI tutorial, I will introduce you to the new mind-blowing Playground AI model that is Playground V1. Playground V1 model is even better than the Stable Diffusion 1.5 model. And I will also provide a comparison between the two. Without further delay, let's get started. So this is the Playground AI editor or board you can say. I have already done the basic settings. Uh, you can do the same. In filter, you can see I did not use any filter. If you want, you can use. In the prompt, you can put the prompt. I have already copied the prompt. I'll just paste it. So this uh, prompt is related to the cyborg man. Exclude from image. Here I have added the negative prompts. You can check the description. If you want to use this same prompts. This prompt as well and this negative prompts as well. In image to image, I'm not using anything. So control trade, this is the latest feature. I will make the complete video on this topic. Model, here in model, you can see stable diffusion 1.5, 2.1 and this playground V1. So this is a playground V1, which is recently launched and this is really amazing model. Image dimensions. In playground V1 model, image dimensions don't matter that much. Okay, because uh, Playgrounds V1 uh, try to put the object in the center of the image. So you can uh, take any dimensions. I am going with 512 into 768. Prompt guidance, uh, I am taking 8. And quality and details, it's 50. Uh, here in show advanced options, uh, sampler I am using. Our usual one that is the Euler Ancestral. Number of images, I am keeping 3 and yeah, enabling the private session so that only you can see your images. Now I have already added uh, the prompt, I'll just click on generate. You can see this is uh, what we got, cyborg man, this is good output. For this kind of pictures, you can see the background is of uh, like a gray and um, dark color background. If you don't want this kind of background, so oh, simply you can just uh, write down in the uh, negative prompts uh, like um, gray and dark background. I just added this and now I'll click on generate. So you can see the background uh, has changed. It is more lighter. Uh, it's not a gray or the dark anymore like it was and if I just zoom this so you can see the detailing of the cyborg man it's very good if I just go to the model and if I change the model to stable diffusion 1.5 let's see what kind of output we get here so you can see the output with stable diffusion 1.5 u is not at all good okay with the same prompt we are getting these amazing images here right so you can compare now both the stable diffusion and playground like i said playground v1 keeps the object in the center okay but uh, stable diffusion doesn't do like that and even the colors and the detailing is not at all good so playground v1 is very good here you can see now let's try a different prompt I'm just changing the prompt. So this is our new prompt. Okay, I'll just change the model back to the uh, playground V1. This is our uh, prompt. Uh, Inox dark quick silver liquid glossy reflective exploding through eyes ornate details fractal patterns uh, scattered shards uh, and debris nature background. Now I'll just click on generate. You can see uh, this is what we got here. Like the Inox dog, quick silver liquid glossy. I'll just uh, generate this again. I did not like the result. So this is a, a like a kind of a different prompt we have tried here, and uh, it came out really well. If you see. So whatever we have mentioned here, Inox, Dog, Quick, Silver, Liquid, Glossy, uh, that we can see here. This is very good output you can see. Now I'll just try the same thing in Stable Diffusion 1.5. 
सो सी वॉट वी गॉट इन स्टेबल डिफ्यूजन वन पॉइंट फाइव स्टेबल डिफ्यूजन वन पॉइंट फाइव इवन डिड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द डॉग सो इन दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉम्स प्ले ग्राउंड ए आई इज रियली अमेजिंग यू कैन सी वी कैंट कंपेयर बोथ राइट द डिटेलिंग इट हैज इज ऑल्सो रियली गुड I'm just loving these results. If you like, so you can download it as well, just by clicking on this download icon. Or if you want to upscale, or you want to correct something, so you can do that as well, like uh, upscale by four x. Okay, so we can do that as well. So I'm just upscaling by four x. Now let's see the result. So this is the final result, and this is really amazing. Let's try more prompts. I'm just changing the prompt, copy paste, and I have just pasted. You can find all these prompt in the description of this video. So this is the related to the nature. This prompt: a breathtaking coastal scene with towering cliffs, crashing waves. You can read it. I'll just change the model and generate. Wow. See the nature images also. It's creating really very well. It's so natural, so realistic. If you say it, I'm really liking it. I can change the image dimensions and show you. Uh, I'll just choose this and generate. Wow! You can see. it works very well with all the dimensions so whatever we are mentioned in the prompt that is what we are getting the breath taking coastal scene with towering cliffs i'll just go back to this 512 into 768 and uh, i will now just change the uh, filter i'll just try this lush illumination filter okay let's see generate Wow, amazing, right? So you can try the different filters. Now I'll just change the model and show you how it works with Stable Diffusion One Point Five Generate. So you can easily compare. Okay, this is generated using Playground V One, and this is through Stable Diffusion One Point Five. This is not bad even. So here as well. Playground AI is working very well. Now, let's change the prompt. So this is our next prompt: minimal line art of a flower, white background, ink outlines. So this is the prompt. I'll just change the model, playground V1, and just click on generate. Wow! Can you see the line art of playground V1 created? so realistic right wow so playground fever is very good at uh, line art but stable diffusion 1.5 is very bad at line art so you can see uh, the art uh, stable diffusion created there is a huge difference right i'll just change the dimension generate again so this is good after changing the dimensions we got this good result i'll just change to playground v1 and click on generate yeah so this is so minimal like we are saying here minimal line of art okay accordingly playground v1 is creating the minimal art but uh, this is not a uh, minimal art playground version was is doing very well change the filter to delicate detail wow this is good i'll just change the prompt again let's try the trend prompt a uh, line art of a beautiful girl white background uh, ink outlines now let's see generate this is good I don't want the picture. Okay, this is kind of picture only. Uh, I'll don't select any filter. Now generate. Wow. 
and this is what I was expecting. This is amazing, right? Minimal line of art. Wow. This is coming out really well. So if you want, you can download upscale. Okay, here are different options. So if you want to know about all these options, so I have created already one detailed tutorial on Playground AI. So you can watch that video. You can find the link in the i button or the description of this video. And if you are watching and liking this video, so do like and subscribe to our channel. I'll just try with the uh, Stable Diffusion 1.5, same prompt, generate. Not bad, but uh, this is really well. So this is what we got, not very good. The output we got from the Playground V1, so this is perfect. Uh, so here you can see it's covering whole frame of the image. And here it is in center. So, in line art as well, Playground V1 is very good. Let's try last prompt. Portrait of a beautiful woman. And I will uh, use the Lush Illumination filter. And now I'm clicking on Generate. Model using Playground V1. Wow. Uh, I have just written portrait of a beautiful woman and on that basis we got these amazing images. So if you want to create the portrait then Lush Illumination filter is very good. You can see the detailing and the look is very good. I'll just regenerate again. This is amazing, right? Same we can try in the table division 1.5 as well. Lush illumination and generate. See, very ugly images we are getting here. So here also playground V1 wins. I am going to create a full video on um, how to create the beautiful portraits using the lush illumination filter. So if you want me to create a separate uh, video on how to create a beautiful portrait using Lush Illumination filter. So let me know in the comment section. I will make video on that. I have added all the prompts and negative prompts in the description of this video. You can check it. And I would recommend you to follow the video along with me. So that was it. Hope you like this video. Let me know in the comment section if you want any particular video on playground AI or related to the artificial intelligence tools. I will be happy to make video on that. Also, if you have any suggestion or if you want to say anything, so you can comment down below. Click on the left video to watch a detailed tutorial on playground AI or click on the right video to learn how to edit your images using playground AI. Do like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.